Hello guys, my name is Lucas and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to create a text file in our assets folder. I'm going to try to keep this video as brief as possible, so please remember to subscribe and tell me if you have any questions. Let's begin. So we have this empty project and we're going to go ahead and create an empty object. I'm going to call it main. And inside this new object, I'm going to add a component, just a class and I'm going to call it main. So the first thing we want to do when we want to create text files from Unity is tell Unity that we're going to be using system.io. And IO stands for input and output. So here I'm going to create a new function. I'm going to call it create text. And we're going to call this function every time we run our application on start. So what we're going to do is the following. We're going to create a file if it doesn't exist and we're going to add some text to it. We also need a path of the file and we need to have some content for our text file. So we said we want to have this file in our assets folder. So we create a string called path and this path is going to be application.datapath and we're going to add the name of our file, log.txt. So that's going to be the path of our file. Now we want to check if this file already exists. And if it doesn't exist, we're going to create it. So if exclamation mark, and now that we're using system.io, we can call file.exists, and we're going to provide the path that we want to verify if exists or not. So if this path here, this file with this path does not exist, we're going to go ahead and create it. And to do that, we use file.writeAllText. And we need to give it a path, and we also need to give the content of the text we want to have inside our text. This could be empty, or we could have something like the title, for example, login log, and then I'm going to add two new lines to the text. So if we go ahead and try this now, you will see that we are going to create a text file in our assets folder called log.txt. But right now, nothing happened because we actually have to go out of Unity and go back into Unity and you will see that it comes up. So you will see that it's just an empty file called login log and then we have two new lines underneath it. Great. We created our first text file. Now we want to add some new text to it, but we want to keep the first few lines, which is our title, maybe some description. So let's go ahead and create the content. So let's go ahead and make a string called content. And we're going to make something simple like login date. So we're kind of making a login log plus system dot datetime dot now and then we want to create a new line at the end so escape n so that we create a new line at the end of our string now that we created our content we can add it to our existing file so let's go ahead and use file dot and this time instead of using write all text because write all text will replace all the text that is in our file we want to use append all text and append all text is going to add our new text at the end of the text that is currently in our text file. So we go ahead and type first is the path, so path, and then we add our content. So now we can go to Unity and try this again. And now if we go back to Visual Studio, you will see we have the option to reload everything. So we reload this and you will see login date and then it's the date now. So if we go back to Unity and we play this and stop it several times. So I'm just playing it and stopping it and playing it and stopping it. You will see that if we go back to Visual and we reload this file, you'll see we have a lot of different login dates in our login log. So basically that's how you create a text file in Unity. Remember to check if the file exists already. If not, you can create that text with write all text and then you can add new text with append all text. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and remember to subscribe. I want to deeply thank my patrons in Patreon. Thank you very much. Your support really means a lot to me. And also thanks to all the people that support me on YouTube. Remember to leave comments and any questions that you may have. And I will see you all on the next one. Adios.